Hello everyone, my name is Jörg Lahan and I'm a professor at the University of Michigan. Um, I'm actually working in chemical engineering, materials science and engineering and also biomedical engineering. And my group is really interested in this interface between material science and biology. So how do you make materials that can basically mitigate and control the interactions of cells, of biological uh, systems if you want. And we're coming from a more chemistry, materials design perspective, but the questions that drive us are really biological in, in, in many ways. And so some of the things that we're interested in is, for instance, how to make uh, nano and micro particles that have to find little compartments. So if you think about this, is like normally a nanoparticle is something that is isotropic, meaning from any side you look at it, it's the same. Um, so it's kind of like a house that has just one single room. So how do you make now a house with little rooms in them so you can fill things into this individual rooms without mixing them up? And so that's exactly what we're trying to do essentially with this microparticles and nanoparticles at really small scales if you want. And why do we want to do this? Well, because after we put them in, we can actually release them selectively again. So we could use it to bring multiple drugs, for instance, instead of the human body into a specific area we're interested in, and then release one drug first and the other drug afterwards. Or maybe we can combine imaging and drug delivery modalities in the same particle. Other things we're interested in is also to, in, to control how cells interact with the surfaces they sit on underneath. So basically the substrates if you want. And so we have developed, uh, developed a vapor-based process that allows us to actually create chemically and biologically defined surfaces in very well um, controlled ways. We're also interested in something that is very typical to life, which is basically the ability to dynamically change things, to switch. And the way we switch essentially is by applying little electrical fields to a surface and by introducing then conformational changes, meaning the order disorder of a monolayer on a surface. Uh, and by doing this, we can actually harvest macroscopic changes. So on a molecular level, we find uh, transitions that drive macroscopic changes, which we can use to um, switch a surface between hydrophilic and hydrophobic, or maybe even make molecules detectable or non-detectable. So we think we have a very simple um, kind of uh, signal transduction system here for analyzing small molecules, let's say in the breath for instance, human breath analysis and other things. So that's kind of what we do and um, maybe it doesn't sound so exciting for you, but if I look at my students and their work on a day-to-day -day basis, they're really excited about this and I think what drives them is ultimately the ability to make materials that can better interface with uh, the human body and maybe help people down the line that are sick and that can be, uh, can, can be cured.